United We Can is um, a recycling center, a bottle depot primarily. It was built by people who go out and scavenge the laneways and the streets and the parks of our city looking for empty beverage containers and bringing them in for uh, refunds on deposits that have been paid on them. I was a dumpster diver big time in Vancouver for many years and uh, the way that person got money from bottles and cans was to take it to the corner store or to a supermarket for a refund and there was a lot of stuff that just wasn't in the refund deposit system, a lot of beverage containers and there was a reluctance on the part of the stores to take the stuff back, they'd only take back so many at a time and they wouldn't take it back because we were dirty and the stuff was dirty. One day I was in a local um, drop-in centre having a cup of coffee with a friend who was also a binner and we were complaining to one another about problems and a minister from a local church heard the, the complaint and he said, you know, you guys, if you really want to try and do something about this, I know where there might be a bit of money that you could get to use to do something if you had an idea. And so we thought about that and uh, came up with an idea to do a one-day depot, bottle depot, return depot, in Victory Square, which is a local park in our community. On the day of the event, we arrived at Victory Square and people were lined up around that park, which was like a four block park, with shopping carts and bags and every kind of contraption bringing these non-refundable containers. And it just was amazing. A total loser as a business because it was all non-refundable containers, so there was no way that we could get some money from it for all that stuff. What it did do though, is it brought together a lot of folks who otherwise were kind of disconnected from one another and to the community and were isolated and hidden. Even from other poor people, it was seen as kind of beneath anybody's dignity to be digging in the garbage. That culture changed as a result of that kind of engagement. And uh, slowly, slowly we organized ourselves and developed uh, a little idea for a constitution for an organization. And we thought we could do a better job of, uh, of this recycling business than the corner stores were doing. And uh, we eventually got to the point of setting up a depot and doing it on a full-time basis. When you think about it, picking up cans and bottles out of the garbage is not some sort of a remarkable thing in many respects, eh? But we're making it significant. Anything is significant if you're engaged and you have that passion and you care about it and you connect in your community. There's all kinds of things that we can be doing right in front of our noses. A lot of times we discount that because we think we've got to be the hockey star or whatever. We don't have to be. We just have to be the stars of our own lives. So it's stepping up to face into our own lives and do what's right in front of our faces. That's what I think. Anyway.